So how do they? Some of the garden plants, rhododendron, Yakushimenum cross recurvoides. Down below it, one of our own trillium seedlings with quite a bit of pink. Trillium grandiflorum, that is. There's the Yakushimenum. It's not flowering so well this year. It flowers better every second year. But there's a few more buds to come. It's going to be a bit sporadic. Around this bed was where much of the snowdrops and leucodiums were, but now we have erythronium and trillium, but it, it, around here I want to come and look past another nice of the rhododendron, flowering rhododendrons. This is rhododendron phalarope. A bit straggly, we'll maybe cut that back this year. Across here, the giant leaves. I put a hand in, you can see how big these leaves are. Podophyll and Plyanthem. I love the sort of stipples, the little connectives around the end, the frilled edges to the leaves, cluster of flower buds there. And down below we've got planting right in amongst the rhododendrons, Erythronium tuluminense, he doesn't mind being planted in there. Carpet of an emony, the the hybrid. This is the Lipsiensis or Crossimani, whatever you want. Combining very well with the Primulus, Primrose, Primula vulgaris. A really nice short form of Erythronium revolutum. And then round to some of the trilliums that are out. These are some of the western sessiles. Difficult to know what they are for sure. Around here is one of the Trillium grandiflorum roseum. This is the Go Gothenburg pink strain. Really looking good. Through more and up there there's Erythronium susana. And this is my, I think my favourite trillium that we've, of seedlings we've raised. I don't know, Chloropetalum, Kuribiashi, wherever it is, it's one of the western. Sessile, but I think they're garden hybrids now, probably. So, across Susanna, you go across there more Erythronium tuluminense, Trillium grandiflorums, except that's a Trillium ovatum. Lots more there down. There you can see the big leaves of coming through, not going to flower this year, the big shiny leaves. Cardiocrinum giganteum. There's another plant over there. Again, I don't think that's going to flower this year. And just round how we can use these in the bed with that's our Erythronium joanna. Coming through a carpet of Corydalis, Craigton Blue Foliage. Moving round to the Fritillaria Pallidifloras coming up through there. More Fritillarias down here. We've got Fritillaria Calm Chatensis and Fritillaria Pyrenaicus, not yet out, but will come out. And that's just another wee bed. Very small area. How much you can cram into a relatively small area. The bare area over there, you think, well, there's nothing there, but there's a lot. The podophyllums, aracemas, they're just starting to appear over there now. You can see the, the leaves. Podophyllum peltatum. Menora narcissus, pseudonarcissus. There's a trillium simile. More trilliums over there. So that there's a lot more to come in this bed. Just as much as to come as there has already been, this is just one stage in a planting.